I feel the need, the need for, no, that's a wrong Tom Cruise movie. Sorry about that. What is up, Fire Dis Nation? It is time to get fired up with Michael Garfield again. And this time we're gonna be doing something a little different. Well, not only are we gonna get fired up, we're gonna get revved up because outdoor cooking and fast cars, which operate outdoors, by the way, they just go hand in hand, don't you? <laughs> this morning I am at Texas Motor Speedway. It's just outside of Fort Worth for a day long event put on by the Texas Auto Riders, which I'm a member of. It's an opportunity to meet manufacturer reps, engineers, marketers, designers who make these bad boys so we can get behind the wheel and give you our opinions. So come along for the ride and maybe we'll see how many references I can drop from Talladega Nights. So you ready? Let's go get kicked out of an Applebee's. That's one, by the way. Texas Motor Speedway. Seats 181,000 people and is used for NASCAR and IndyCar Series races. But not today. Open only to media journalists who are here to test drive over 30 new vehicles. But here's the catch. Which one do I start with? So why not start off with something like this sexy bad boy? This is a Lexus LC 500. Now I'm here with Todd from Lexus. He didn't want to give me the keys, but you know what? I'm getting ready to take this <laughs> off. Give us a quick play-by-play -play of this bad boy. Sure, so as you can see, the convertible, we've got the top down. One of my favorite things is how fast the top comes down, 15 seconds. You can put it back up in 15 seconds, and you can even be driving up to 30 miles per hour while that top is coming up or down. Now, the LC500 has been out a while, but this is the new one, the convertible. Yes, just came out last year. Uh, super excited about it. Made in Motomachi. It's uh, one of our best factories in Japan. Handmade. Um, yeah, it sounds great for the top uh, open or close. And the Mark Levinson stereo, I can't imagine, because you need, you know, you need some you need the big tunes. sound. Tunes, 13 <laughs> speakers. You got speakers right by your headrest. So uh, what I recommend doing is putting those windows up just to reduce the wind noise a little bit. But yeah, crank up the tunes and uh, yeah, it's a perfect day for a ride. All right, give me the keys, man. You got them. We're rolling. Okay, so is it cool if I hit like three digits? Please, I would expect nothing less. <laughs> They've got insurance, that's the neat thing about this. Uh, first of all, my first impression, incredibly smooth and incredibly quiet, even with this roof down. Typical Lexus, known for quality, but you do get to hear the uh, uh, exhaust and the uh, engine from the engine sound from the uh, five liter V8 naturally aspirated, which is kind of unusual these days. A lot of our competitors have uh, turbo, so we like the V8. Uh, horsepower, uh, people like the horses. Yes. What, number, what number can we push? 471 horsepower. Come on, man, you can do better, come on. <laughs> well, so 4.40 to 60 in the coupe, the convertible, because mm. uh, there's a little bit more weight, it's a 4.60 to 60. Very, very fast. We talked about the sound system, which we've cranked and tried, but with the licensing, we're not actually allowed to play some of these tunes. <laughs> no, but it, but it's it's very fun. In terms of uh, of availability, you know, sometimes we drive cars, they're not available, but this one is ready on the dealers. Absolutely, at your local Lexus dealership. All right, should I ask how much? You certainly can. It's starting at about 101,000, and then as equipped, this has a heads-up display, Mark Levinson, it's about 111,000. Uh, can I pay in Bitcoin? We'll take uh, anything, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to Venmo them after this. Because Cashier's they, track, yeah. we're flexible. This is a great one to start out with. This is the uh, 2021 or 2022? 21. This is the 2021 Lexus LC500. I love the styling from uh, Black Panther movies. Yes, that, was, that was the coupe, and so it's very famous movie. So I appreciate the, uh, the tour, and congrats on the success, Thank time. you so much. My pleasure. Lexus LC500. That's right. You hear that sound? Love that sound. Only from gas-powered muscle cars like this. This is the 2021 Dodge Hellcat Red Eye. I mean, how about those two names together? Hellcat and a Red Eye. I'll explain a little what they mean, but pretty much it means F-A-S-T, fast. This, close to 800 horsepower at a top speed, 203 miles per hour if you use the right key. This is old school. This, if you want to race, if you want to put it on the track, if you want to put it on the street and take your neighbor down, you definitely have to take a roll in this bad boy, just like we're about to do right now. So we're inside with Moses. He is with Dodge. Yep. And uh, you better be buckled in, brother. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> yeah, I've learned, uh, I've learned 
real early on that uh, you want to be strapped into this I'm bad boy. I'm actually surprised there's not like a five-point harness yeah. when you get yeah. into a Dodge muscle car like this. I, I, I said it's a Hellcat Red Eye. Yeah. Explain the difference between just what a Dodge Hellcat and the Red Eye series are. So what we're in right now is the, the Hellcat Red Eye, which is top of the line, right? We've got the wide body, we've got big tires, we've got tons of horsepower, 797, or 797 horsepower in this thing. Woo! Um, <laughs> we've got uh, you know our SRT package, which gives us different, uh, different modes to drive in, track mode, sport mode. Uh, we actually have a mode where we can customize it as well. So you can change shock settings and shift settings to you know what, what you want, as opposed to what Dodge thinks is best for you. So a uh, lot of different options with this thing. I mean, this thing is, it is loaded. It'll do what, whatever you want it to. In, in, in talk about doing whatever you want it to. This is, you know, SRT street racing technology. It's the racing. Uh, people buy these things and they do race, don't they? They race, yeah. You can... Uh, you can go uh, road racing at your local at your local uh, road race track. You can go drag racing. Um, I mean, this thing is set up for drag racing. We've got launch control. We've got line locks. Um, I mean, it's it's ready to go racing. You buy this thing, you grab yourself a helmet, and uh, go race it Friday night. No helmet yet because it messes up the hairdo. But that's that's another different <laughs> that's, story. You just got to get a hat, man. That, you know, it hides that. <laughs> that's exactly that's exactly right. It, you look at the controls over here. It's a, it's a great display, and there are so many you know touch buttons over here. But you talked about track control and inline. Okay, so the let's talk about you know burning out. You know, doing the road like that. So yep. if you want to set this, it's just you have to know which buttons to push. You have to jam the brake down. This whole process, though. Yep. Yep. It's a, it, but it walks you through it, right? Mm -hmm. So um, you've got a page that's just race options, um, and it, it walks you through how to do your launch control, how to do your line locks. Um, it's it's very intuitive, um, and you know once you go through it a couple of times, it, it becomes second nature. So when you get a car like this, it, it's a, it's a law. You just got to get a loud color too. I mean, you don't well, want yeah, you don't want some sort of a gray yeah, thing, man. You got to get this, this this bright color like we're in right yeah, here. Yeah, exactly, man. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> you know, Dodge is always going back to the heritage, right? These colors are, are what you would have found back in the '60s. Now they put a little uh, a little flavor into it, a little modern flavor, but uh, you know, Dodge really is is uh, embracing their heritage. Yeah, it's it, it's it's a long great heritage over here. One more thing, I always like to point out when I play around in Dodge is different color keys. Yep. I'm actually, I have a red key right now, but yep. there's also a black key to it. Explain the diff. Well, black key is, you know, it's, it's your, it's your regular key. So the, the red key unlocks everything. So <laughs> when you give it to valet, you know, the, the black key is only going to give you half the horsepower, but uh, the red key is, uh, is what unlocks, uh, unlocks this beast and lets you, let you go have some fun. All right. So the tip is if you have this and you've got a kid who's a driving age, only give that kid the black key. Absolutely. Only mommy and daddy on weekends, <laughs> get the red key. All right, there you go. This is the Dodge Hellcat red eye uh, price wise. Uh, you know, we're we're sitting in right now is about eighty five thousand dollars. Yep, bargain. That's what a bitcoin and a half. Not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely check this out if you want a lot of muscle. So I'm going to use a great racing segue. We're going to shift gears. You see what I did there? And I'm going to show you the inside of a vehicle before I show you the outside. Maybe play a little guessing game. This is a sedan and it's a luxurious sedan. First time I've actually ever been in it. Some of the first things that I notice when I get in and I review cars is I just take a lay of the land, look at the dashboard, and obviously I like the technology. This is something that I have never seen. This is a 12.3 inch display with some interesting controls that use a circular motion. Some of it is touch, some of it haptic feedback. It's great, it's also got the leather seats, by the way, rich Napa leather seats too. Wonderful air conditioning with touch screen. It's just all the accoutrements that you'd like. Now, any guesses to what it is? Unless you happen to see a logo. So did you guess? A Genesis, of course, you see these things every day. You know, not every car I have to review or we drive around the track has to have 800 horsepower and pedal to the metal and, you know, street racing technology. Sometimes sedans, they're pretty Pretty, pretty cool. This is a Genesis G80, and without a doubt, it is a luxury sedan. I showed you the inside controls, which are very, very nice, and sometimes very important to people too. But in terms of horsepower, a modest 375 horsepower, but a very capable 3.5 liter V6 engine. So it's going to give you a lot of punch when you hit that gas pedal. Four doors easy to get in and easy to get out. And Genesis for many, many years, they've been known for great warranties. Without doubt, they certainly do. Five years, 60,000 mile warranty top to bottom. The powertrain itself, 100,000 miles. So it's a very solid car, sturdy car. And I'm very impressed with what Genesis has been doing lately with the brand here in the United States. But again, I like the inside. Is it comfortable? Showed you the leather, showed you the screen. Let's take a little deeper look inside the G80.
Yes, there is something to be said about beautiful interior. The G80 actually is quite impressive. We already talked about some of the Napa leather that you can get and a lot of the wood grain finishes, but to me, I'm a technology guy, like many of you out there. I'm just really interested in seeing some of the ways that cars can control some of their internal functions. And this is one of the first I've seen. This is a disc, which takes this thing in and out of park, drive, reverse. But up here, this is very unique, too. This is a circular, touch-sensitive wheel. And as you turn it left and right, this is going to control what you see on the 12.3-inch screen. And when you push down on the center part of the wheel, you're going to go to some specific items, everything from the connected services, the data, what's going on in the car, your satellite, radio navigation, even your phone projection through Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. It's very interesting, too, and I like it because it's an actual button. You know, one of my pet peeves is just touchscreen. As much as I love touchscreens, it's not the safest thing to do because you can't keep your eyes focused on the road. Uh, I want something to touch. Maybe it's the old school in me because of my age. I like that haptic feedback. And so the fact is that this wheel, you can hear it clicking and you can feel it clicking as you go around. It's a really nice way to utilize the navigation of a beautiful 12.3 inch screen, which illuminates greatly at night. Now, one of the key tests for a sedan is how much room is in the back seat. So I'm a six foot tall guy and I may be a little cramped right now with my legs, but I'll tell you what, I certainly have ample enough head realm and so three people comfortably can fit back here in the back of the 2021 G80. Now it's priced starting around $62,000. The one I'm in right now has a $5,000 upgrade package and that's gonna add the leather seats and that 12 inch heads up display, but also add some neat things also like a little sunscreen behind me that automatically raises and lowers like I should be chauffeured around. Maybe one day I'll be lucky enough to have one of my kids show for me around. And I'll tell you what, this could be in the running. You may want to check this one out yourself if you're into a really sporty sedan. It's the 2021 Genesis G80. Okay, now we're talking. No more sedans. We are back to sports cars. Here behind the all-new Toyota Supra. You know why they call it Supra? Because it's pretty super. This is indeed a true sports car. It's the 2021 Toyota Supra 3.0, by the way. And it's a new version that continues the tradition of the Supra brand, very fast, very speedy. Now, obviously you can see it's a two seater and for a six foot tall guy, mm, pretty, pretty tight. But again, it ain't your convertible. It's not your minivan. If you want something fun, if you want something sexy, this could be the one for you. Now, while the Supra is pretty shapely and sexy on the outside, inside, it's a bit standard. Nothing really that stands out to it. You've got a relatively small screen, but again, you can only have the screen size big enough, as big as the car is, which is, you know, quite small. Typical gear shifters. It does have two paddle shifters, which quite smoothly can change and operate the three liter twin turbo inline six cylinder engine at eight speeds. These paddle shifters work very, very well. Other than that, you got your typical Toyota safety features, which are very nice, and it goes fast. For a fast, small car, it is surprisingly quiet, which is something very nice if you do want to have a little intimate conversation with your passenger to your right. But alas, no back seat, means no baby carriers back there. $59,000, this is the Super as fully loaded, starts about $55,000. You're gonna find it at your dealers right now. It's the 3.0 version of the Toyota Supra. Okay, okay, I Like, what is up with a minivan? Hey, people drive minivans too. Matter of fact, back in the day when my kids were young, we had several minivans and they're actually beasts. They ride as smooth as any car on the road and they've got a ton of features. And this particular one is one of my favorites, the Chrysler Pacific. It's been around for many generations, but this bad boy right here inside, not only fits almost an army, but it's got some great technology that not only you and your kids and worse, your neighbor's kids are going to be able to satisfy themselves and keep it clean. So we're going to go take a test spin in the Chrysler Pacifica and see what's up. Hey kids, shut up, shut. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm just so used to driving a minivan back in the day. I had to shut my kids up. No worries. <laughs> There's actually some technology where I don't need to turn my head around. We'll talk about that in a sec, but I want to introduce Josh. Josh is with Chrysler, and we're rolling around in the Chrysler Pacifica. This is, is an all new, or certainly a new trim. It is, it is an all new uh, trim for the 2021 model year. We're riding around in the uh, Pinnacle, which is uh, really our top of the line premium people mover, uh, packed with a bunch of technology. 
uh, a really nice, uh, you may be able to see uh, quilted caramel Napa leather uh, interior. It smells nice. Uh, and a nice uh, light diesel stitching and pi uh, piping around the seat. So, um, you know, this, this, is, uh, this is really designed for customers who want uh, the best of all. Yeah, well, going back in history, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Chrysler invented minivans, that whole category, didn't they? We did. We did. We were the uh, the first in the segment back in uh, the early 1980s and um, continue to, to, you know, reinvent the segment, you know, and this 21 model year Pacifica is, is really a test of that. Uh, um, and, and we continue to really uh, improve and, and, and do a great job in the segment, leading the segment. Well, it, it certainly looks sharp from the outside, but listen, I mean, you spend your entire life as a child inside of a minivan station wagon, you know, if I go back to my days. And so, you know, I'm really concerned when I get in minivans, just looking at the inside, how comfy they are. Without a doubt, from the driver's side, it's, you know, typical Chrysler, smells great. Love the Uconnect system. There's no doubt anything that the Chrysler Dodge Jeep does with the Uconnect system is great. Anything specifically new about this one? So this is the Uconnect 5, the 10.1 inch uh, system. It's five times faster than our outgoing model. Um, definitely has a, a really nice performance. Uh, one of the biggest features that we really see here with the Uconnect system is the new fam cam. Fam cam. And uh, what is really uh, awesome about the fam cam is for your family, hauling them around, typically have children in the second and third row seats. Rather than turning your head, keeping your eyes off of the road. Been there, can, done that. You can use the fam cam, uh, zoom in on any of the particular seats where those uh, folks are sitting and you can really zoom in and, and see a rear facing uh, child. So there's, there's cameras uh, in what, the ceiling or the sides? In the headliner, yep, it's right. in the it's in Does the it work while we're rolling or we have to be stopped? Uh, works while we're rolling. Let's, let's try it, okay. push it over there. Check it out. There's dope. Look so you it. can see here. Uh, no kids in the back, but no they're kids. nice and quiet. Yep, Yeah. No, uh, but we can see on the right hand side, this is a zoomed view. So mm -hmm. we can uh, really zoom in on, let's say the right hand, uh, uh, second row captain's chair and and uh, if we had a passenger back there you can see our beautiful pillow uh, those are our second row lumbar support pillows comes with um, some, it comes with support pillows for your lumbar it does <laughs> it does and uh, so you can see those two sitting on that seat but it does have day and night modes as well so uh, as it starts to get dark out um, this is the 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 brightness of the screen will start to light lighten up and you can see uh, uh, those passengers. I like this well because, you know, now I can call out the kids by name, which one is acting out like, Josh, I see yeah. you back there. Stop pulling your brother's hair. <laughs> it works really well. So th is this in all the new Pacificas? Is it upgrade or certainly in this in this trim level? Right? So in the Pinnacle, uh, this vehicle has uh, only one option and it's the trailer tow group. Mm -hmm. um, for the other Pacificas, the Limited, uh, we have the Fam Cam as a part of the Uconnect Theater family group, which includes our 10.1 inch uh, dual touchscreens uh, uh, rear seat entertainment systems. One of the things that, that struck me the first time I ever saw a Pacifica, and, the, and what year did they come out first the first year? Uh, 2017. Okay, so the first time I saw a Pacifica, I'm, I'm going, you know, I'm, I'm driving around, and, and you know, I, you know, one of your, uh, you know, your counterparts was showing me around. Absolutely, to this day, blows me around when people say, you know, Michael, what's the craziest, the neatest, the weirdest thing you've ever seen in a car, truck, or van, bro? This has a vacuum cleaner. It a does. vacuum cleaner. I mean, brilliant because all the Cheerios used to go everywhere with the kid. And pretty much, is, is this standard on this model or is it upgrade or how does that work? So on the Pinnacle model, it is standard, uh, the stow and back system. Um, it's really a, a great feature that, uh, again, you know, you have children in the back, small messes, you know, even even for pets or, you know, anything, really any, any reason that you may have uh, some, some debris in the, in the floor of the vehicle or, or in the seats. You know, you can take the hose out and easily vacuum off those seats um, and, uh, and you know, clean up any messes. Well, the ride is certainly smooth, so we don't need to really talk about that because I've been in minivan so long. It's very roomy. I love the, you know, the doors, they automatically slide. Moonroof now, they continue to get bigger and longer, don't they? Yeah, this is the tri-pane sunroof that we have here in this Pacifica uh, Pinnacle trim and uh, definitely has a nice view for all three rows. Anything else that uh, we're missing, you know, you like pointing out inside the vehicle? So from the interior standpoint, I mean, really, uh, Probably my favorite feature is is, is these uh, these caramel quilted and apple leather seats. I mean, they really are so comfortable. You have a beautiful stitch uh, accent stitch on the instrument panel, and um, you know I, I think that's really the the big highlight uh, on the interior. All right, so this is the uh, this is I'm going to use my words. This is about as pimped out as you can get in Pacifica. That's about, that's that's right. <laughs> I said it, he didn't, okay, so Chrysler, don't yell at him. Uh, if anybody's looking at the entire Pacific line, what's the starting price point and all the way till you get to this uh, this baby? So uh, we start uh, the touring um, 
trim is our, our uh, entry, entry level trim on the Pacifica. It starts about 35,000 um, and goes up to uh, the Pinnacle all wheel drive, which we're currently in, that uh, is about 54,000. By the way, you don't need kids, adults, and I've done this back in the day. If you're going out into town, you got a few couples, it becomes party van. Just make sure you drive responsibly. All right, this is the brand new 2021 Chrysler Pacifica. This is Josh. I'm going to take him for a spin. Actually, I'm going to put you in the back so I can see you on the camera. Cool? Yeah, that works. Yeah, he's toast. Don't cry on me, baby. <laughs> okay, now I am getting serious, man. Helmet, safety is first over here. Now, I've been touring around in a lot of these cars on streets, not the actual track here at Texas Motor Speedway, but it is time to put on the helmet and really open it up. So they let us drive on the inside track of the motor speedway. They're not gonna let us on the big 20 degree banks. It's a nice little S turns and a lot of hairpin type of things. It's uh, maybe uh, about 0.8 to 0.9 miles, but it really gives you an idea of what to open it up. And I am going to open up this. This is a 2021 Lexus RC 350 F Sport. It is very powerful, very fast, two doors, I'll tell you the price afterwards, but I do feel the need and it is going to be very, very speedy. So let's come along for the ride. So we're all strapped inside the Lexus RC 350 F Sport. They're going to let you go on the track. Got to wear this helmet. I always hate this, man. It just jacks up the old hair, but yeah, what are you going to do? So uh, there's only two cars allowed at a time. Their safety certainly is a priority over here and they certainly know how to do it. Uh, other than that, they will let you uh, hit that uh, red, yellow, and then green timer, and you are off. So let's just take a look at it from a few different perspectives, and power to speed. Let's go! So this is the inside track. It's not the real 20-degree bank. They're not going to let us go on that, but it gives you a good idea of some snake turns and let you can control it. I've done this track many times over the years first few times i was with a professional driver and man they take these corners like it is nobody's business so you kind of learn a few tricks of the trade whether to stay inside the track or outside before you turn and what's really fun when the track is wet you can start sliding and gliding which is fun i'm going to take this a little on the outside there's the accelerate out of there and bam Woo! Slingshot! Slingshot! <laughs> Woo! And we're back down to earth. That was pretty exhilarating. That is fun. Uh, maybe not my record time, but uh, I'm going to have to find a faster car. So this was the uh, Lexus RC 350 F Sports. A three and a half liter V6. Still puts out a lot of impressive horsepower and it gets you around very zippy. I like the inside. It's very racing and sporty. It's a two-door car. Probably not something you want for the family to schlep around the kids. That's minivan time back there. But if you want something fun, um, it is tough to beat a Lexus. They really do build a very nice and certainly comfy sports car. Starts about 43000 uh, This one as equipped is about 53000 with all the uh, really cool uh, high-tech uh, tricked out things. But other than that, man, I did feel the need. Let's roll! So after a long day of driving, sports cars, SUVs, and minivans, we're coming to the proverbial, well, we kind of saved the best for last. And I think we did. If you don't recognize what this car is, maybe you will by this. Ah, yes, the spirit of ecstasy. This is a Rolls Royce. Anyone ever heard of it? That's right. Brand new Rolls Royce Ghost. I don't know if they're going to let me touch this thing, but I'm going to see if I can convince some of the folks from Rolls Royce to get behind this beautiful, opulent of what they're calling a driver's vehicle as we take a little spin in the 2021 Rolls Royce Ghost. Look at this. <laughs> they gave me the key. They gave me the key. I am rolling in a Rolls. It's actually a good t shirt. Jerry with Rolls Royce. I don't think Rolls Royce has like giveaway T-shirts. That's not your style. No, we don't. Uh, we don't <laughs> give away T-shirts. <laughs> but if I spend all this money, do I get a polo shirt like you or something, man? Uh, you know, you never know. If you if you play your cards right, there might be a polo shirt in there when you order your new Rolls Royce. Jerry is with Rolls Royce, and he is kind enough to actually, after I sign my life away in blood, let me drive this uh, on the outside of the track. I'm definitely not going to take it on the banks. And, and 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 Jerry, that's that's kind of the point for Rolls Royce. I mean, it's you don't want to take it on the tracks. This is a driver's car and the, just for the first mile or two that I've been around it is smooth as silk it's 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 almost like a glide board and I guess that's the whole concept yeah you know we call it the magic carpet ride 
because it's that feeling and it's uh, you know it gives you this sense of your uh, your flying it's like flight on land you know if, if you think about it the old days people would say oh this luxury car is a boat no a rolls royce is a plane it's you know if you feel like it like we're gonna have a chance to, to do a little bit of a takeoff here or there it just really gives you that great beautiful feeling you you you're not annoyed by the road yet the suspension technology that's in this car, you feel the road, but it doesn't bother you. It's like a really pleasant feeling of being connected without having any of the annoyance of the potholes or the inconsistencies or the horrible roads that you're you're gonna run into. Even this guy is so calm and serene, I'm almost falling asleep, just gently listening as I'm driving. You talk about the technology, and I love technology from every angle. You don't see it. I mean, I'm sitting in here, and just like the typical yep. other cars I've been driving, I don't see a lot of the gauges. I don't see a lot of the the, 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 the stick shift. And I guess that's not the point, but it is loaded with technology. No, uh, you're absolutely right. This is the most technologically advanced Rolls-Royce we've ever built. And it, it's a, we're able to do that because as a member of the BMW group, the company has invested in a standalone architecture for Rolls-Royce. So the architecture underneath the Ghost is shared only with Cullinan and Phantom inside Rolls-Royce, and it's brand new, state-of-the-art, aluminum-based rail technology. The, uh, the way it's put together is that we can hide all of the technology that gives you the magic carpet ride, gives you like an incredible suspension system on here. There's a like, triple redundant suspension on this car. And then it also gives you all of your control and your performance enhancing that you want. When you're driving a Rolls-Royce, you don't want to push a button in sport mode or all-wheel drive or this or that. You just want it to work. <laughs> As, you know, I'm looking here, at, again, not a lot of dashes. Um, I do see a, a, a screen. I guess some of the early world voices from what, 116-year-old company did not have touch screens and navigation. Just give us a quick play-by-play -play of what's happening over here in terms of the of the, the, the communications and the uh, the navigation. No, absolutely. You have, you have a beautiful 11-inch, um, uh, it's an LED touch screen uh, where you can have navigation. Uh, it has your entertainment system. We have Apple CarPlay integrates in. It's seamless. Uh, uh, you have um, all of your status of what's going on with your Rolls Royce. We have a beautiful park system where you actually, we get a threaded together 360 degree spin view of everything that's around you in real time. So if you pull a little bit too close to a bush or a tree or another car, the monitor will automatically pop up and it'll show you where that is. You do, certainly don't want to scratch the finish on your Rolls Royce. No, you definitely, you definitely yeah. don't. A lot of the finishes over here, I mean, this is just glistening, the chrome over here. And, and I'm looking at buttons and switches for those who've never been in a Rolls Royce, including me. Um, these are different ways. I mean, the way you even turn the air condition on and open the vents, it's a push-pull. I mean, is this, is this just classic Rolls Royce? What's great is, is it is a wonderful blend of classical and modern. I tell you what, it smells great. It it, it drives great, but the, it, there's just something missing. When I hear Rolls Royce, there's there's just something up like that. Can you, can you bear with me? Do me a favor. What you need? Stand by. All right, buddy, you got to bear with me. Okay, if you're a Rolls Royce, I'm sorry. Maybe it's the movies that I saw growing up, but you kind of want to sit in the back seat. So would you indulge me? Absolutely, because that means I get to drive. Oh, I see what's going on. So we both win. So let's take a look at this. Oh, okay. now this is called a coach door. Coach door, absolutely. It's, a, you know, it it's a holdover. Every Rolls Royce built today has a coach door, whether it's two or four doors. Kind of different. Yeah. It's, you know what? It, it makes it easier to get in oh. and easier to get out. Oh, I'm feeling it right now. You know, if a lady's I, getting out, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little tip here. What's that? There's an umbrella built into the door of every Rolls Royce. <laughs> of course Now this there could is. be used for a gentleman if it's raining. Uh-huh. Or it could be used to make uh, certain American ladies' exits from cars a little bit more, uh, let's just say, discreet. Okay. If I were to open this, uh -huh. you can get out of the car. An upgrade like no other built-in umbrellas. All right, so let's 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 automatically close these doors, why don't we? And we're going to go for a ride. This okay. is going to be crazy. Oh. You could take me home now, Jerry, if that's okay. Well, while we're on the way home, why don't you check uh, just to your left, under your left arm, you know, when you're bespoke in a Rolls Royce, you can do anything you want. We will put in there, and uh, there we have the crystal Rolls Royce decanter. I do apologize, it's empty, it's the middle of the day, and you're driving, so. I'm not driving anymore, bro, and 
Crystal glasses. Crystal glasses, yeah. yes. Okay, hold on a sec. Please tell me when I open this up, there's Grey Poupon. And you, I there had to get a Grey Poupon no, joke in here. There's no Grey Poupon in Rolls-Royce anymore. <laughs> you open that up. You could open behind you to the left. There's a champagne cooler or a drink cooler. Pull that down. Oh, my goodness. With the... On the extended version, uh, we, of course, offer two settings. Crystal. In the cooler. Champagne glasses. Yes. They're cold. They're literally cold. Yes. Well, you know, on the cooler, there's two settings, one for vintage champagne and one for newer champagnes. I'm a newer guy, okay? They're about so. two, uh, two to three degrees uh, warmer uh, on the, um, the newer champagne. But then you can change materials. You know, we have a beautiful open pour wood in the Ghost here. We've had people use metal. People use, um, you know, adornments. On Phantom, we have a glass gallery that goes around where people have put private artwork into it. Um, and then on the outside, it's com It's not just the color, it's a combination of the colors. It's add mixing colors together. Um, and our craftsmen uh, in Goodwood, where every single Rolls Royce is built, in Goodwood, England, our craftsmen are able to deliver on anything you would like. Well, I, without a doubt, can tell you that they delivered on every aspect over here. These are in dealerships right now. And uh, it, obviously, we got to we got to close a deal for everybody out there who's interested in one <laughs> or two. Uh, starting price, and then uh, what's what's how much is the one we're writing in now? Well, what's amazing is the starting price. I have to think about is three hundred thirty-two thousand five hundred. But no one, no one settles for a starting price. Of course not. We don't. We don't start uh, there. Most of what we're seeing right now is in, is in the four hundred thousand dollar range. Mm -hmm. uh, this particular commission is a four hundred and sixty thousand MSRP. Um, but it's it's all about what you want. So you can you can um, you can play and you can let your imagination run wild. Yeah, well, you can let your comfort run wild too. And a, a beautiful, it really is. It is a top of line vehicle, which is about the price of an average U.S. home. But it just doesn't matter because I can move my entire family in here. The air conditioning <laughs> is great, and I can move all over the place. Jerry, listen, I appreciate you driving me. We're only about a few miles from home. Do me from next time. Can you fill up the champagne flutes and everything for you? We'll work on that. I love it. All right. <laughs> Make sure if you're ever around a Rolls Royce dealership or you got a few rich friends, ask them for a few Bitcoin. You could buy one of these. It is the 2021 Rolls Royce Ghost. Well, there you go. A full day of racing and driving. It's a long day. It takes a lot out of me, I'm telling you. About the only thing missing right now is some good grub. I'll tell you what, they're about to fire up some fire disc for our dinner, man. They know how to treat us, and I hope you're having a great lunch or great dinner yourself, and I know you're using that number one propane cooker. I appreciate you, Fire Disc Nation, of hanging in here and learning a little something with me. Fired up with Michael Garfield. We do it on a regular basis, so make sure you subscribe and you follow that Fire Disc Nation group. Only thing I can say right now, if you ain't first, you are last, and you're always first with Fire Disc.